Hello, sunshine's the morning in Western Australia. Hi, Tara. Nice to see everyone. Hello, my Monday live people, my mighties. It's so wonderful to see my mighties. And it's wonderful to see those of you who join us on Facebook and Twitter and where else are we? We're all over the place now. We've actually moved on, my friends. We are <laughs> carrying on. Hi, uh, Pat from Kansas, and um, yeah, any suggestions for knee replacement pain, says Pam. It's interesting because we're going to be talking about mm, something similar to that tonight. So good evening, my friends. It's wonderful to see you all. My name is Joette Calabres, and I'm here every Monday night to do one thing and one thing only, and that is to talk about homeopathy. I teach you what I know, what I use, and I love to hear your and read your feedback. And for those who, of you who do know me, welcome, my friends. It's a wonderful feeling to see you here every, um, um, every Monday at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. And uh, so glad internet is working to hear. Yes, yes, I'm, I, I think we're doing all right now. I think we've got... We've got a, 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 a good tech team that seems to be pulling this off very nicely no matter where I am, and I do move around a lot, so it's very useful to have a team that knows how to get me up and running um, as often as I need them to do. Hello from hot Louisiana. Yes, Louisiana is a hot place, can be, especially at this time of the year. And Connecticut, and Heather says, I love Ignatia. You, you bet. It's one of our best medicines. It's a really good one. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about what happened with my knee. I talked to you about it two weeks ago. That's around the time it happened. Um, and I wanted to give you an update because there's a lot that we can learn from this. And I want you to learn what my mistake was. My mistakes were, uh, my major mistake, um, which is not so bad. It's not a big deal. But it is something that... Um, that you can learn from. So um, when I injured it, it wasn't, um, I, I, it's, it's not something that came on quickly. I didn't twist my knee. I didn't hear a crunch. I didn't feel anything like that. And I was pretty sure though that it was a torn meniscus, mostly because of where it was located. And I've worked with many people with, torn, with, with that condition. And so I, um, I made an assumption. And so I started to take Symphytum 200. I took Arnica, which is an excellent medicine for, um, for the knee in general. Um, but um, I got a message after I went on last, or two weeks ago, I got a message from my dear friend, friend Joe DeLavera, otherwise known as Joe Pathy, and he said, uh, Joe, take Argentin, uh, Argentum Metallicum 30 and Arnica 30 twice daily. Well, I had already been taking Arnica, and, it, you know, I, I took Bryony at one point. That helped for, a, you know, a day maybe, but that was about it. So, um, but I did not have, where I am now, I did not have Argentum Metallicum. So I needed to wait and get it, uh, per I had to purchase it and get it sent. Well, it came in a few days or so ago. Meanwhile, um, I don't know if Leanne is here today. She's my student turn friend um, who's a physical therapist in North Carolina. And she uh, came up with some ideas on what she thought it was because I started to question whether or not it really was a torn meniscus. So um, we were thinking, is it a tendon? Is it a muscle? And I had also gone to my chiropractor who originally said it was a muscle. So it didn't, at first it seemed like that, then I wasn't so sure. It was moving around a lot. Um, and it was, it was, I would not say it was consider, considerably painful. It was painful enough to keep me down. I like to walk every day. I especially love to walk on, on the beach or in parks. Um, I was looking forward to riding my bike. 
Um, I was looking forward to kayaking. I couldn't even bend it well enough to get into a kayak. And so I wasn't, um, uh, was not, it was, uh, it was an impediment to my life. It was also difficult to sleep because every time I turned over, it hurt. Key, that's a key. When I moved, it hurt. And when I used it, it hurt. It was always better from rest. So, um, not only from my, the advice of Leanne, who's often here. I don't see her here yet, but um, um, I don't see Leanne yet. Yeah, she's not here yet. Um, but um, with her help and with, I went to my cousin, um, who is a physical therapist. And yes, I have a cousin. I have so many cousins. I'm one of those blessed people. I've got a lot of cousins. And he said, mm, um, it sounds or it looks like a pes answering. How cool is that? Love that word, pes answering. It means goose foot. Pes meaning foot and answering meaning goose. And it's a tendon on the medial side, which is the inside of the knee. Um, if that, it was clear that it was on the inside. And um, it was probably bursitis. It was probably the bursa around, or I think it's behind, the pes answering. And it was an inflammation of that. So it kept me from going up and down stairs. It kept me from being able to walk around. And at, actually, at certain times when I pushed myself because I love to cook, I like to, I like to cook for my family, and I was doing that. And um, after cooking, it was just so painful. Uh, that's when it would hurt a lot. So, um, and I thought, I got to do something about this. So once I realized that it was a tendon, or it was the bursa, it was a tendon with the bursa um, surrounding it, um, I knew that I had to think of a remedy for bursitis of the knee, and I had to think of a remedy that was specific for tendon, and I had to think of a remedy that was specific for how it was acting, the symptoms, how it was presenting. What were the symptoms? Worse on movement, better from rest. Now, you're probably already guessing some of these, so th those of you who know our Materia Medica. Hello from Ottawa. <laughs> Hi, Carolyn. Uh, yeah, Mary says she, uh, hers was filled with fluid, had it drained, now waiting on an MRI. Uh, I'm glad you're here because you could learn something from this, I believe. So um, what was interesting was that when I read about pes um, it's commonly found in women due to a wider pelvis. Hello. No, thank you. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> but that's because women have a wider pelvis than men. So it has to do, obviously, with the architecture and structure of the body. Um, it's from repetitive stress. And I believe that this was, as I think I reported last time, from... Oh, look at you guys. You already are coming up with the remedies. You are so good. Um, from walking on the beach where I would walk into the, the sand that I was walking on, was very soft, and you, have to, you had to climb out of each step. And recently, just before this happened, I had increased my walking to about 45 minutes in a much more rigorous, uh, fast-paced walk. And I think that's what did it. So um, it's for, from overuse, from repetitive stress, from neglecting to stretch. I never think to stretch. I always think that the exercise is the stretch, but apparently you got to stretch it a little differently. Um, and it's from excessive hill running. Now, I was not running, and I was not climbing hills. But what I was doing was, was climbing out of deep sand footsteps. So that's how it um, often occurs. And so what are we hearing? Now? What are we seeing now? I see Kathy Diaz says, Bryonia, worse for movement. You got it. Um, Bryonia says Jennifer. Lewis in Oklahoma says Ruta Grav. Um, so Cal Gal says, Ruda. So that's exactly what I did. I did both. I used Bryonia, which I had used a 30 before. It helped, as I said earlier, for a day or so. I was kind of testing it out. I decided to use Bryonia 200, and within a few minutes of taking it, I took Ruda Graviolins 200. And I took it instead of only twice daily because the pain was, uh, well, I will, let me also say this. Let me back off and say, when I was on my feet too long, cooking, for example, 
just, you know, doing, you know, our, our duties during the day, getting up from my desk, getting, going outside, watering my plants, etc. cetera. Um, it was, it, it, all, it, it was enough that it tired me. The pain actually tired me. So it was not excruciating, but it was, it was, um, it was beating me down. And that made me think of Arnica, but Arnica was not right because this was the bursa and because it was a tendon. And so I used Bryonia 200 and Ruta 200, and I used them each three times a day. And I started that three days ago, and I would say it's about 90% improved. I can now get up and down the stairs. I had a hard time going up and down the stairs. Um, I now can walk around and water my plants. I made a very nice meal yesterday, and I was on my feet a good amount of the time. And, um, and it, you know, it ached a little bit afterwards, but it was nothing like it had been. So I can see a great deal of improvement in very short order. And I sh should also tell you that one of the reasons, or one of the, one of the uh, characteristics of all of this is that upon taking the Bryonia and then shortly after Ruta, both in 200 potencies, um, I felt I noticed a shift within, I don't know, an hour or two. Hooray, congratulations. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> Yeah, look at you. You're all getting it. Yep. You bet, Susan. Yep. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> Bryonia and Ruta. Now, this is, I want you to, to, to know that someone just asked about um, their own knee and they're waiting for an MRI. I didn't go for an MRI. Oh, nay, nay. I do everything I can to stay away from those kinds of tests. Um, I want common sense, everyday, logical, human information. And so I counted on two people, well, three, four, my chiropractor first, who I think was, was slightly right. Um, there was a muscle involved. Leanne, where are you, Leanne? She hasn't come yet. My physical therapist cousin who I think actually is the one who nailed it, and myself. And I think that it's a, um, when we use human intelligence and experience and a team, I think we get better results more often. Not for everything. I'm not saying you never go for tests, but tests do not, um, do not excite me. Well, actually, sometimes they do excite me. They excite me in the, in the negative fashion. Um, okay, so Yana says, Bryonia 200 and Ruta 200 worked wonders for me after gardening. My husband also took it after his long hours worked. Yes, you bet. So would I go for an MRI if this hadn't acted? Mm -mm, I would not have. Would I have gone, x-rays do nothing for this. It's not going to give us any information. But I would not do that. And I'm not slapping the back of the hand of anyone who would do it. I've come circuitously along this pathway for a very long time. And I find that tests are often superfluous. They too frequently line other people's pockets. Um, they are, um, I don't want Vasco da Gama uh, <laughs> poking around my body. And as I said, I like the intelligence of good, skilled professionals. So um, that's how I approached it. Now, what was my mistake? My mistake was um, I was not perceiving where the pain was coming from. It seemed to move. It was median. There's no doubt about that. It was, it was medial. I mean, it was on the inside of my knee. It went down to my shin. It went up around my knee. It was on the other side. Then it would move. Then it was tender. Then it wasn't tender. It was just all over the place. And that's what threw me off. Uh, let me just read this. It says, I have a trick knee, says Alice, since age 15 when I tore all of the ligaments in a gymnastics accident and they were repaired surgically. But in the last 10 years or so, I got traveling, comes and goes, pain and weakness and sometimes sudden crippling out of the blue. Sometimes the pain is in the patella, sometimes in the inner side, and sometimes the outer side, and sometimes the back 
of the knee joint. I squat a lot when gardening, but it doesn't hurt when I squat. What's the remedy for what seems to me to be the, the, a capricious ghost in the joint? You want to get all of those. You want to get all of them. You want to get your repertory and look these up. First of all, yours is coming from a, from a previous injury, and that has something to do with it. And it's all, so it's torn ligaments. Ligaments are often ruda. So let me give you a couple of other medicines here that could have been considered. I could have considered Roostox, and in fact, I was taking Roostox, and it was getting worse. And the reason I took Roostox, because I wasn't sure, is it better? I mean, it really is hard to know, even on, your, on yourself, or even more so on yourself. Was it worse on first movement and better on limbering up? No. But it did feel like there was some, perhaps some arthritis involved, so I went with Roostox, and that was a mistake. Things got much worse. And that's when I realized when, um, um, when my knee was also, what would I call it, was getting lame. So when you use the wrong medicine, the, the condition that you need to be paying attention to often comes to the fore. What condition was that? Well, for me, it was my knee was not holding me up. So when I tried to traverse the stairs, I could feel that I was going, my knee was going to buckle. So that led me to knowing that Ruta is a great medicine for lameness or weakness of ligaments and muscles and joints. Um, and someone else says ferrophos for pain. Yes, you could consider that. I, I think ferrophos could be of use, but I think this is more specific. This Ruta and Bryony is more specific. Why? Because Ruta is so specific. I'm making this real clear for those who are still wondering what, to be used, what they should be using for ligaments. Ruta is specific for ligaments. It's not the only one. We have many others, but it's number one. It's pretty much number one. Ruta graviolens. And bryonia was specific for how it was presenting. Did you consider adding some phytum to that root? I did take some phytum in the beginning, and it was not, um, it was not useful. I was taking, actually, some phytum and arnica in the very beginning. And Pam says, remedy for scar tissue in a replaced knee joint that is creating pain and swelling. I've talked about that on my blog. I'm pretty sure I talk about... Um, scar tissue, a remedy for scar tissue. What about no pain, just fluid in the bursa? Okay, so we also have sticta for the knee. I'm not, I'm not uh, ignoring you. I'm just going to try to fill this in for you somewhat. Sticta, S-T-I-C-T-A, is for housemaid's knee. So uh, that's for overuse on, of being on the knees, as you can imagine. And, but the pain is red, um, excuse me, the pain is hot pain, and there is redness, and the whole area has pain. That's when we use the remedy Sticta, S-T-I-C-T-A. There are many other medicines, but I'm going to go through just a couple of them. Sticta. Then we also have Apis. This is something, somebody just mentioned this. Um, are ligaments, and let me just get to a question, are ligaments and tendons different? Yes, they are. Um, so the next medicine that we consider for the knee, especially, it can also be for other joints, but particularly the knee is apis, apis mellifica. Apis is made from honeybee. So think of if you had gotten stung by a honeybee, um, what would, what would occur? It would be hot and swollen and maybe even shiny, right? And painful, and edematous. Apis has a lot to do with edema. What's edema? Water, fluid underneath in the, in the, in the, um, the area of the inflammation. Apis is great for the knee. Thought I had a meniscus injury, but uh, nothing seemed to alleviate. Got a steroid shot, and 11 days later, something popped. And, and whatever was out went back in place. I don't know what I would have, could have taken to reduce the swelling enough to allow what was out to move. Well, uh, meniscus injury, uh, as I said just a few minutes ago, Joe DeLavera, my friend, who is otherwise known as Joe Pathy, suggested Argentin. 
Argentum metallicum. Now, there are other meniscus injury remedies. His suggestion was Argentum metallicum uh, 30 as well as Arnica 30, twice daily, both of them. Not mixed together, just taken in the same schedule. Could adding Ruta to the Symphyton be more effective than either remedy alone? You know what? I don't know. All I can say is that in my case, uh, because of the kind of or the, the way the pain was presenting, that it was worse on movement, um, that that told me it was bryonia. And uh, Ruta told me that uh, because it was a ligament and because of the weakness that I had. Uh, will I try the Argentum? No, I won't because I'm 90% there. I don't think I'll need it I, because not only because I, it, it's resolving and I expect that it will continue resolving as I carry on with it, but also because it's, um, it's, it is a pens serine bursa problem, um, not what I thought it was. So because the condition was changed, now the medicines often will have to change. Nutrition and water mineral shortfalls can cause deterioration of healing processes and carbs, especially grains cause acid activity in the joints. Uh, H2O salt is, is so important to You are so right, Pat. I couldn't agree with you more. And I have to say that when I drink water, I put good quality salt in it. Sometimes I often put electrolytes in it. I also do not eat very many carbs at all. I probably, I mean, I would say my diet is pretty keto and even closer to um, mostly meat and eggs and a lot of butter. But you've got a very valid point. I believe that this happened because I was also dehydrated. And I should have said that in the beginning. That is very important, especially at my age, and also because I was in Florida at the time where it was, was not as hot as it is now, but quite hot. Um, so I just want to mention, watch out for those steroid shots, my friends. You don't want to deal with steroid shots. They are known to cause uh, long-term trouble. So um, even sometimes only one shot can do that. But just be very, that's why we're here. Because we're, we are, we've had it up to our eustachian tubes in medicines that cause trouble. They get, they, 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 they do as they promise. They tell us they're going to relieve pain. But then they don't tell us that now, they, now we're going to have a, a, a chronic um, 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 colitis forevermore. They get rid of that urinary tract infection, but they don't tell us that now we won't ever be able to eat uh, bread or drink dairy or eat dairy, even high quality dairy. The whole story, the, the devil is in the details, my friends. And that's what I love about homeopathy because the details are what help us determine what medicines to use. And it also, the details are in what is the person doing? What is extrinsic? What are they putting into their mouth? What are they not putting into their mouth? What can you do to reverse effects of steroid shots? Well, it depends on what the effects are, but I've written about on my blog, the, t the title of the blog is Stop It. Just the two words, Stop It. And it talks about how to help, not always fully, sometimes not even at all, but often to help, um, I would say, I don't know if I would say reverse, I would call it short cut or put an end to any potential side effects that are still lurking. Okay. Um, someone's asking about prolotherapy. Um, how can the steroid shot be detoxed? We already talked about that without a medical background. How can I pinpoint unknown conditions? You take courses in homeopathy. You go online. You study. Um, in my academy, um, we teach pathophysiology very intensely. It's a very intense year of pathophysiology plus a protocols, homeopathic protocols, and what to do and how to get around them. Uh, what type of electrolyte do you use in the water? You know what? I'm not remembering right now. If I can think of it, or if, I'll try to remember to bring it up next week. Um, yeah, carnivore. 
let's see, how can, let's see, without a medical background, you don't need a medical background to have common sense too, my friends. There's, there's, we've lost common sense and we are depending upon an industry that has some good people in it and a lot of, a lot of misinformed people. So it, you're better off trying to figure this out yourself, joining a study group, one of my gateway to homeopathy study groups, very inexpensive. You get to meet others. And in these groups are nurses and chiropractors and moms and grandmothers and electricians and all kinds of people come from all walks of life, from all over the world, and you actually meet with them on Zoom and you study my manuscript and you learn how to take care of yourself, um, how you learn, you learn how to take care of your family. Do you like structured water? I do like the idea of structured water. I've not, um, it's funny that you should say that. Um, I've been looking into structured water, actually. And, um, and my husband tore his rotator cuff Wednesday, so he is using Arnica Symphytum 200 combo. He has no pain unless he moves the arm too far. Excellent, beautiful. A torn rotator cuff can be pretty painful and limiting. Excellent, very nice. So China and all cell salts called bioplasma for electrolyte replacement. Yes, Jennifer, you're absolutely right. Those using China, homeopathic China, um, and the cell salts do help with that. But I also add regular old garden varieties um, electrolytes. And yes, I have a blog about most of these, many of these conditions. Better for movement is Rustox. Look into that and Arnica. Yep, says Tara to Diane. Does ozone therapy interfere with homeopathy? What is your opinion of ozone? I, I'm a homeopath, not an ozone therapist. I'm, I don't know enough about it. I've had many clients and students report to me that it, um, not many, I've had some report to me of its aid. So I trust and love homeopathy. I like chiropractic. I like chiropractors, physical therapists. I like those people who touch humans, who touch the person and feel and palpate, who look at the person instead of send them off for a test. I think tests are, um, are, can be useful from time to time. I've already given you my opinion on that. So uh, let's see what else we've got. Yes, I have a blog about many of these. So my knee injury sounds like yours, only it happened over six months ago, still having some fluid. Is there anything to help with the fluid? Yes, I just talked about that. And if you missed that, Cindy, just go back and watch this again. I did talk about edema. Thank you, Joan. I'm always learning. Yeah, you know what? So am I always learning. I've been doing this for 35 years, and I have to tell you, my friends, I'm still learning. I'm still learning from my own mistakes. There is, it never ends, osteopathy. You're right, Pamela. There just are no osteopaths in my, in where I live. Ape is for the edema, says Alice. Yep. This is, this is how we learn. And if we take this job of self-reliance seriously, um, the freedom this grants us, we don't have to be dependent on others. We don't have to go to waiting rooms. We don't have to worry about insurance. My friends, I didn't have medical insurance for the last, I don't know, 25 years of my life. Reflexology is my go-to when issues pop up, 25 years of success with my homeopathy. Yeah, great, absolutely, use re reflexology. There are some very good methods out there. I have general back pain, ache at the end of the day, especially when I lay down. Yeah, well, there are, I've talked about back pain. T take a look on my blog. And if that doesn't do it, I have a whole course, my friends, called Pain, Make It Stop, an entire online course. So when these, the, what I'm giving you is information to help you with a hint here and a suggestion there, if that still is not enough and you need to go deeper or you've used the suggestion and it helped but stopped, et cetera, et cetera, then you might want to go to my courses and you just go to Joette's Learning Center. Apis is for swollen. Yes, apis is for swollen ankles. Yes, it can be. Um, silica is also swollen ankles too, but mostly apis, 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 apis. So hard to diagnose yourself. That's why, my friends, that's why, Pamela, 
it is can be hard, and that's what I'm saying. Is those were the mistakes I made is because I didn't, I did not uh, diagnose myself properly. But in the end, I got it with a little help um, and some some clarity in thinking. And once I used the so-called wrong medicine, it became clear what I needed to look at because the symptoms came to the surface. So even the wrong medicine will give you the wrong homeopathic medicine <laughs> without the side effects, without the synthetics, without the patents. <laughs> even using the wrong homeopathic medicine, if you have patience, tincture of time and patience, sta quieto, as my mother used to say, it, just, stay, just pay attention, just relax. We're not, this is not an emergency. I'm 70 and took a post-retirement gardening job part-time. If I don't have homeopathic remedies, I don't think I could do this work. You're absolutely right, Alice. Yep, yep. Natmure has helped me tremendously for swollen ankles in this summer heat. Yes, Natmure 6 probably is what you're using, and yes, it can be. I'm finishing Gateway 1 and 2 and just starting the Academy. Yes, Tracy, I so enjoy learning about homeopathy. Thank you much for sharing. It's my pleasure. Um, and Barb is replying to, um, Ardeline, and there we go. Wonderful evening. Wonderful seeing you all. See you next week. And if I can remember where those, uh, where I bought those electrolytes or what they are, I'll be happy to share them with you. God bless you all. See you next week. Bye now. With our homeopathic protocols, you learn all your remedies. My family needs a me, so I must know our remedies. How much to take, how often to treat, and when to stop, and when to repeat. With our homeopathic protocols, you learn all your remedies. Athusa, no dairy, it's elementary with arnica head, arsenica beds, pajulia, slither, orms from wither, no more from my family, a needs of me, so I improve my memory. Not only the REMS, but how often to treat, and when to stop, and when to repeat. With your homeopathic protocols, and learn your remedies. Bella, so red, and arnica head, drosera, bark, ignatia, dark, source of frigid, and cuprum to rigid, and crude itches, tally, cabonicum, let it melt on your gum, bovies to weed are some great ways to treat you. La, 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 homeopathic protocols, learn your remedies. With our homeopathic protocols, you learn all your remedies. My family needs a me, so I must know our remedies. How much to take, how often to treat, and when to stop, and when to repeat. With our homeopathic protocols, you learn all your remedies. Athusa, no dairy, it's elementary with arnica head, arsenica beds, pajulia, slither, orms from wither, no more from my family, a needs of me, so I improve my memory. Not only the REMS, but how often to treat, and when to stop, and when to repeat. With your homeopathic protocols, and learn your remedies. Bella, so red, and arnica head, drosera, bark, ignatia, dark, source of frigid, and cuprum to rigid, and crude itches, tally, cabonicum, let it melt on your gum, bovies to weed are some great ways to treat you. La, 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 homeopathic protocols, learn your remedies.
With our homeopathic protocols, you learn all your remedies. My family needs a me, so I must know our remedies. How much to take, how often to treat, and when to stop, and when to repeat. With our homeopathic protocols, you learn all your remedies. Athusa, Nodari, it's elementary with Arnica head, Arsenica beds, Pajulia, Slither, Orms from Wither, no more firm. My family a needs of me, so I improve my memory. Not only the REMS, but how often to treat, and when to stop, and when to repeat. With your homeopathic protocols, and learn your remedies. Bella, so red, and arnica head, drosera, bark, ignatia, dark, source of Bridget, and cupim to rigid, and crude itches, tally, cabronicum, let it melt on your gum, bovies to weed are some great ways to treat you. La, 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 homeopathic protocols, learn your remedies. With our homeopathic protocols, you learn your remedies. My family a needs a me, so I must know our remedies. How much to take, how often to treat, and when to stop, and when to repeat. With our homeopathic protocols, you learn all your remedies. Athusa, no dairy, it's elementary with arnica head, arsenica beds, pajulia, slither, orms from wither, no more firm. My family a needs a me. So I improve my memory, not only the REMS, but how often to treat, and when to stop, and when to repeat. With your homeopathic protocols, and learn your remedies. Bella, so red, and arnica head, drosera, bark, ignatia, dark, source of Bridget, and cupim to rigid, and crude itches, tally, cabronicum, let it melt on your gum, bovies to weed are some great ways to treat you. La, 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 homeopathic protocols, learn your remedies.